Anna from Lexime Journals. I hope everybody's well today. I'm here to show you this new journal that I've just uh, finished and uh, I called it, I themed it Birds, Nests and Fancy Guests and I just thought it would be a little bit more humorous to add that extra little bit in the end. Um, I, I, imagined, uh, I, imagine, I imagined it belonging to a, a, an, um, uh, an avid uh, bird watcher who uh, loves also uh, analyzing and looking at different eggs, uh, b birds' eggs, and checking out nests and, and uh, going around with his uh, old-fashioned camera and uh, also uh, entertaining people for lunches in his club or uh, entertaining people for lunches at home. I just thought something a little bit more uh, fun and, um, you know, and, 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 uh, and, and interesting for, um, for, um, for this person. So, so uh, it is, I made it with um, the cover. The cover comes from uh, the Graphics Fairy, uh, the, the premium um, membership site. And I, I, um, I just love this this color, so I was looking for a cover that would work for this journal, and I I, I always check there first because they've got these amazing covers. So so I found this one, and I just uh, I just adore it. I d adore the color, and I added just a tiny little bit of gold here and there, just so that it looks like it's kind of touched it by it, but not too much. And um, and let me show you. Let me show you the the, the spine is it's got a tree. I've used this tree and a spine before. I love this uh, this tree, and uh, and I just thought it goes well with the colors. And the back is plain, plain, but the blue that you saw, you know, you see all through. And from the side, I've got some uh, feathers, and uh, the, these feathers uh, are um, from different. I'm not sure what birds they are. Oh, sorry, uh, but they're they're just uh, they're. I've actually bought these feathers. They they were for um, for crafting, so they're not feathers. I didn't pick them up from anywhere, and um, so there we are. Let me show you. Let me show you inside. There is no no official closure, but it because I wanted it to look as much as it I could as um as a a a a diary, a journal, and a book that, that could be used by a, a, a more masculine book as well. So yeah, that's why it's, it doesn't have a closure anyway, but anybody can wrap things around. Now this is a, a, one of my favorite marble papers ever. And uh, I used it on the um, Colonial New York journal. And this is the last piece I've got left. And and I'm using it here <laughs> because the colors just go so well. But it is a one of my favorite papers because of the color. One of my favorite um, hand marble papers, and it's it's uh, actual hand marble. So yeah. And uh, when the shop opens again, I can go because I really like ordering. Don't like ordering from this shop. I like going there physically and choosing the papers. So when it's open again in in in, in Victoria and in London, I will be out there waiting to um, to go in and get some more <laughs> some more lovely papers from them. Uh, so I use this 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 in the front. I use a lot of the a lot of the um, the printables are from the Graphics Fairy. So you know I'm just gonna go through it and I'll tell you. And this is this is from Nick the Booksmith, and uh, some um, some washi. And this is this is uh, this, the, we've got all these eggs and uh, the colors the robin eggs and they they go so well with. Um, with the cover and the <laughs> the end papers, it's just it's fun. And there's a menu here from one of his, uh, you know, his times of entertaining. And and I've also got this. Every page has got some like something of interest, and I've dispersed lots of birds around. And there's some Edith Holden birds here with a robin. And there's a little birdie here and a side pocket and here's another um piece of ephemera which um again uh, the color is cut prints out so well and i've added that here and uh and some more eggs 
and for this one i have separated each um uh, each signature with scrapbook paper so I'm, i've gone a little bit the way i used to in the beginning and it's a little bit more let's say old-fashioned for me uh, because later on i i added other things but this time i've actually used uh, these uh, these papers and they're add more fun to the book so this is a, like a transparent pocket here which is not completely so you can see underneath i quite like that it's a new thing that i'm trying and uh and here are some more nests and eggs and that's from nick and there's an owl and more more of these from the graphics fairy this is from nick here I've added this. This is from the graphics fairy, and I, I've actually isolated the specific. It's for a box cover, and I made turned it into a pocket, so there's space in there for to put things in. And there's an owl charm. There's some ledger. This is from scrapbook paper. And and here is a pocket, and I've got these papers for notes and these eggs. And in the back, there's paper from that. That's Tim Holtz by Tim Holtz because I also love his papers. And I haven't used them for a while. There's another one of Tim Holtz. And it's just a, not a pocket, it's just a little bit of interest. And, and I, I imagine people might like to collage on it and things. And here's a another uh, paper with uh, eggs here. And some more here. And some more birds there, the graphics fairy. And there's an owl. And this is a pocket here. Another pocket, and this is one of my favorite principles ever. Um, and it's a geographical, it's a, a geographical table, and it looks so much like the real thing. And I've aged it a bit so that it can fold it looks like you know one has folded and attached it onto the page just to keep it as a note there's some more from nick feathers and tim morton holes here and this is from the graphics fairy an image of birdie which i've used before this comes from a real ledger of 1956 and uh, i have this uh book that i'm gradually tearing apart <laughs> ledger um okay And this is another one of my favorite printables from the Graphics Fairy, and I use it a lot, and I love it. And here uh, is a card uh, that I received, and and I attached, cut it and attached it because of these gorgeous birds that are made with feathers here, and some feathers here as well. The feathers that I said I've, you know, I've got like they're from for crafting, but they are real feathers. I just I think the blue is just amazing, stunning. So here's some more scrapbook paper there. Sorry, I'm just going to fiddling with this. I'll put it back because it doesn't come off. And some more of this ledger. And this is ledger. I, I would use it for notes here as well. And more ledger here. And there's another bird and some of these note papers. And this is the paper I used, and the, the, it's um, actually two-sided. One is transparent, the other is a little bit less. But um, I, this works as well. There are two pockets, but this works also. And I quite like this not clear, but clear enough look about it. So, and I love these note, note papers. I love these. They're like little ledgers with a hand there. Uh, very nice. And this is some from the Graphics Fairy I attached. And there's some uh, more Edith Holden. More of a summer look, this one. And some more ledger. Scrap of paper. Here's an owl pocket. There's another owl in a pocket here, a big pocket. Now, scrapbook paper, some other birdie. And this one is again, I've 
attached it, but one can use it for notes. Some more eggs, good, gorgeous colors, gorgeous eggs. <laughs> There's another nest. Tim Holtz paper. This is from the Graphics Fairy. Adore this. <laughs> so I kind of put into this book all the papers that I love and that have to re are related to this type of um, this type of um, wouldn't call it sport, wouldn't call it, call it hobby, uh, affliction. Well, well, I don't know. I, 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 something that that uh, people get so sometimes so interested in to to watch um, these wonderful creatures. Who are also observing us and and there's um, another this is from the graphics fairy and um, I created this sort of little it could be used as a um, bookmark and this is a tag that I made for the graphics fairy uh, the tag team and uh, the video is up on their website so I added that onto this one and it's uh, it's got this uh, clock which moves around and uh, it, I think it's fun and uh, actually it's got stuff on the back as well there so that was one of my my first tag that I made for this um, these project this project that we have and I really loved it I really loved making a tag and and to be honest with you I have never ever t spent time in making tags and I would see people making tags and I think oh I should do that sometime and I never have but making a tag it gives you so much pleasure just one tag it's like collaging it's you know like like doing mixed media it's the same thing you can make a tag with, uh, with so much on it and it's such fun this one is a not a it's not exactly a button it attached on, on the back of this and it's a little this one comes from the graphics fairy and this is from um, um, Tim Holt's paper and this is from another scrap of paper that I have which I use there and it's made this and it's a little folder a little file a little you know a little folder yeah a little thing that one can use for um, um you know for keeping little notes and things it's been sewn underneath so things don't fall off and can be attached onto a page or, or even glued on there's another pocket here and there's some more fun uh pieces of paper that he's fun brochures that he's collected and little bits and pieces that he wants to hold on to And this is some graph paper that I like. The color again is just so good with this. Some more eggs with their names on them. And there's another page, little loose page that one has. And there's the Explorers Club uh, book, book plate. And, and then I didn't attach it on this gorgeous paper because I thought, you know, it'll be nice to leave this paper alone. So yes, this is a journal that I really, really enjoyed making and the theme I also really, really love. The more the, more the lockdown lasts, the more I discover, the more the lo lockdown lasts, the more I discover uh, I would discover the, <laughs> the, 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 the different uh, changes, the different phases uh, of seasons and you know, nature and all the birds around us. So I felt I, the need to make a journal that would be dedicated to all this beauty that we sometimes pass by and we don't notice we don't we just how many years that have passed by in our lives in my life at least where i think uh, oh the season's changed now it's spring oh oh then we're near the summer and i've dry, driven past and i've seen like driven past seen trees and th thought oh the trees are blooming oh look isn't it lovely oh look at the colors and that was about it <laughs> but now we're observing a lot more uh, because we have more time for all that so yeah wonderful uh so this will this journal is going to be up on etsy tonight at 9 p.m uk time and uh you'll be able to work out your times uh thank you so much for watching and for your patience because i know it's time from your day and 
I know what it's like. It's you've dedicated that time to watch this video. And if you've watched the whole video through, thank you so much. And even if you haven't and you watched a little bit in the beginning, a bit in the end, it doesn't matter. As long as you have had this contact with me, I'm I am thankful and happy and very grateful. So have a lovely rest of your day. It's Sunday and uh, we will be talking again soon with a new journal. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.